Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to find the volume of a tetrahedron using determinants. Let's say the, the vertices of this tetrahedron are given to us as follows. So, the first vert vertex point is 0, 4, 1. And then the second one is 4, 0, 0. And then 3, 5, 2. And then the last point we have is 2, 2, and 5. We're trying to find the volume we want to find. Let me write here. Find the volume of the tetrahedron. Find the volume of tetrahedron. Okay, so let us try to draw the figure and then use the formula and then apply it and then see what we get. Okay, so just to illustrate this, I want to draw these coordinate points like that. Let me draw it to a side so that way I can use some space to represent some more things. Okay, let me say this is my, this is the, the z-axis. Let's say this is the x-axis. Let's say this is the y-axis. Okay, and if I were to pick some points on this, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'll pick some points here. One, two, three, four, five. And on the x-axis, if I were to pick some points, and by the way, this is the origin. And then that is one, two, three, four, five. And if these are the points I have, and if the first starting Start, uh, starting from the first point, which is 0, 4, 1. 0, 4, 1 will be 0 on the x-axis, 4 on the y-axis, and then 1 on the z-axis. So I'm going to go till 4 and then 1. That point will be somewhere there. This is going to be 0, 4, 1, like that. And then the second point we want to trace, we want to locate on the graph is 4, 0, 0. So if I were to look on the graph here, it is 4 units on the x-axis right there, 0 units on the y-axis, 0 units on the z-axis. So therefore it is right on the x-axis. And therefore this point here is 4, comma, 0, comma, 0. We got the second point. The third point we have is 3, 5, 2. The third point here is 3. 3 units on the x-axis, then uh, 5 units on the y-axis, so 3 units on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 5 units on the y-axis, so we're going to come up, and then 2 units on the z-axis, so it is going to be somewhere there, somewhere there. So this is going to be 3, 5, 2. And then the fourth point we have is 2, 2, and 5. 2, 2, and 5. So the 2, 2, and 5 is going to be is uh, 2, 2, and 5 is going to be very close to somewhere there and therefore once we join these points it is going to look like this. This, this, this and then we'll join these points as well and now we have a this is going to be 2, 2, and 5. We have um, identified all the points. And now, the formula we know for the volume of the tetrahedron is given to us as plus or minus 1 over 6, the determinant of this matrix, x1, y1, 
z1 1 x2 y2 x2 let me write this a bit more clear x2 y2 z2 1 then x3 y3 z3 1 and then x4 y4 z4 and then 1 once we find the determinant of this matrix we should be able to find uh, the volume of the tetrahedron so let's get started and then in here we will plug in the numbers and the way to do that is as follows the volume is going to be equal to plus or minus 1 over 6 the determinant of all these points the first point we have is 0 4 1 and the formula is asking us to put a 1 in the fourth column and then the second point we have is 4 0 0 and then the formula is asking us to put a 1 in the fourth column and then the third point we have is 3 5 2 and then we need to put a 1 in the fourth column and then 2 2 5 is the fourth point and then we need to put a 1 in the in the fourth column like that and then we need to now find the de determinant of this we need to find the determinant of this and let's get started with the determinant here and therefore the way to do that is as follows if I even by inspection when I look at this if I wait to travel along the second row that will be the past path of least resistance isn't it because we have two zeros in there and the minus of those zeros will be equal to zero and therefore the only one we need to expand then is four and the minor of that and one and one and the minor of that so according to the sign convention we go to start with positive negative positive negative like that and therefore if we travel along the second row since we the second row first column is negative second row second column will be positive and then negative and then positive like that so therefore when we travel along the second row this is the way we can expand it and the way to write it out is as follows plus or minus 1 over 6 and then we're going to then we're going to then write this as negative 4 the minor of that which is going to be 4 1 1 right and then 3 5 2 and then 2 5 1 that's the minor of 4 and then plus 0 times the minor of the whole thing minus 0 times the minor of that whole thing this is anyway going to go to 0 so therefore I didn't even bother to write the minor elements of that and therefore plus 1 times the minor of that is going to be 0 4 1 and then 3 5 2 and then 2 2 5 so this is the way we want to write it out and once we expand this we should be able to find the volume of the volume of this tetrahedron so let's let's uh, keep moving 1 over 6 and then negative 4 and then I, I want to expand this part of this as follows I'm going to put another bracket in here and then say uh, I'm going to now travel along the first row in here when I do that it is going to be 4 times the minor of that which is going to be 4 times the minor of that let's go back and then check a few things in here so negative 4 the minor of that negative 4 yes there is a small mistake in here this should be this should be um, 5 2 1 and then 2 5 1 and then in the last one here we have 1 the minor of that is 0 4 1 3 5 2 2 2 5 yeah okay let's keep going so therefore now in in here as we move 
forward here if we were to come in here and then say the minor of 4 is going to be 2 1 2 1 and 5 1 right and then minus 1 times the minor of that will be 5 1 2 1 and then plus 1 times the minor of the other one my minor of that would be 5 2 2 5 okay and then we have plus 1 times plus 1 times every way to travel along the first row in here we can then come back and then say 0 times the minor of that that is going to go to 0 okay and since uh, the sign convention here is positive negative positive so we're going to write this one as negative 4 times the minor of that which is going to be 3 2 2 5 3 2 2 5 then plus 1 times the minor of that which is going to be 3 5 2 2 right therefore now we have all the elements down and it is just a matter of simplifying so this is going to be equal to plus or minus 1 over 6 and then negative 4 which is outside and then times 4 times 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1 times 5 is 5 minus 1 times 1 times 5 is 5 2 times 1 is 2 and then plus 1 times 5 times 5 is 25 minus 2 times 2 is 4 and then the second part of the equation we have here is plus 1 times um, negative 4 times 3 times 2 is 15 minus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 times 3 times 2 is 6 minus 5 times 2 is 10 so therefore we can simplify this some more this is going to be 1 over 6 minus 4 minus 4 times minus 4 times um, 4 if 2 minus 5 is going to be equal to negative 3 negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 then 5 minus 2 is 3 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 and then 25 minus 4 is 21 21 times 1 is plus 21 we got that simplified plus 1 times 15 minus 4 is 11 11 times 4 is uh, is 44 with a negative sign and then 6 minus 10 is negative 4 negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 so we got all that simplified there and now we need to simplify this some more plus or minus 1 over 6 then negative 4 times negative 12 plus negative 3 is negative 15 negative 15 plus 21 is positive 6 right then plus 1 times negative 44 plus negative 4 is negative 48 and we can simplify this some more plus or minus 1 over 6 4 times 6 is 24 then 1 times 48 is 48 therefore when we simplify this this is going to be plus or minus 1 over 6 times negative 24 plus negative 48 is going to be negative 72 negative 72 and this is exactly what I was talking about the volume of a tetrahedron or volume of any any figure cannot be a negative sign therefore when we encounter a negative sign we're going to multiply by a negative sign in front of the formula and then make it into a positive value so therefore 72 divided by positive 72 divided by 6 is what we need to simplify and when we do that the value is going to come out as positive 12 cubic units whatever the units are so therefore it is going to be 12 cubic units so therefore the volume 
of a tetrahedron is equal to 12 cubic units 12 cubic units this is our answer this is the way we want to be able to use determinants to find the volume of this tetrahedron in my next presentation we shall look at some more uh, some more application problems related to determinants